কি খবর ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু দ্য চ্যানেল জয়েন মি ফর আ ফুল ডে অফ ইটিং বাট আই শেয়ার অল মাই মিলস অ্যাট গট মি অ্যাবসলিউটলি শ্রেডিট সো জাস্ট বিফোর উই গেট স্টার্টেড উইথ দ্য ভিডিও দ্যাজ এ ফিউ বেসিক কনসেপ্টস আই ওয়ান্ট ইউ টু বি ভেরি ফ্যামিলিয়ার উইথ আই চক দিস আউট অন দ্য বোর্ড রাইট হিয়ার দ্য ফার্স্ট টার্ম আই উড লাইক ইউ টু বি ফ্যামিলিয়ার উইথ ইজ টি ডি ই ই দ্যাট ইজ ইয়োর টোটাল ডেইলি এনার্জি এক্সপেন্ডিচার অ্যান্ড ইয়োর বি এম আর ইয়োর বেসল মেটাবলিক রেট so your bmr your basal metabolic rate will be the amount of calories your body needs to keep burning just to keep you alive let's say you are in a bed you don't move the entire day just so that your heart can pump blood and send blood to all your vital organs just so your basic vital organs can keep on functioning your body needs to burn a certain amount of calories just to keep you alive so let's say you are sitting in a bed all day you don't do any activity based on my age my height and my body weight i can get a rough calculation of of my bmr which i can i'll link it down in the description below you can check it out over there so based on my body type my bmr would be somewhere around 1800 calories a day so even if i don't do anything just to keep me alive my body is going to burn 1800 calories in one day followed by that i am an active individual i go through strength training four to five times a week and quite rigorous strength training and i'm active more or less seven days of the week so considering these factors in mind on top of my bmr my basal metabolic rate i expend a few certain many calories so that comes out to roughly 3100 calories in one day i'll again mention the link in the description below you can find out your tde and your bmr based on your specifications and requirements and structure your macronutrient and calorie requirement goals accordingly one more thing you need to like i'm sure a lot of you know but you need to be very familiar with is 1 kg of body weight equals to 7000 kilo calories right so if i want to lose 1 kg of body weight in one week i'll have to create a deficit calorie deficit of 1000 calories of 7000 calories rather and 1000 calories daily so 1000 calorie deficit spread across 7 days that accounts for 7000 calorie deficit weekly deficit allowing me to lose 1 kg of body weight So when I'm structuring my macronutrient goals, 3100 minus let's say I'm consuming 2600 calories in that day. So I'm creating a deficit of 500 calories. So 500 calories spread across seven days in a week. That's 3500 calories. So if I follow this tempo, I'll lose 0.5 kilograms in a week. So starting out during the initial phases of your cut, you should keep your deficit relatively small. and you ideally want to be losing as like losing the most amount of weight eating as much food as possible because after a point of time you'll have to keep changing certain variables these variables being you'll have to keep pushing your deficit longer so during the end of the cut we don't want to be in a state where you are eating 1200 calories a day because you'll be miserable after that one more aid we can use for this is liss cardio low intensity steady state cardio So let's say I'm doing starting out with 3 into 300 calorie sessions initially. So I'm making a room for a further 300 calorie deficit daily. So I'm burning 3400 calories and my TDE goes up. This allows me more room to eat more food and still continue to lose the same amount of weight. So once you're familiar with these concepts, when I was doing my cut, I used to track down my weight every single week and try to go for a downward trend in my weekly average weight daily weight fluctuations are very common based on a whole lot of variables starting from your sodium intake to your stress levels and sleep levels sometimes your body retains more water so on the given following day you might see a 1 1 and a half kg jump or decrease in your weight but that is not actually change in body weight so that is change in how much water your body is holding so before we get into showing you all my meals just be familiar with your tde your basal metabolic rate and be familiar with how much of a deficit you want to create you have get these factors nailed and dieting down will be a piece of cake first thing in the morning right upon waking up i've always made it a prolonged practice to start out my day with a shot of apple cider vinegar Not only does this help maintain a neutral pH level in my gut, but over the years I've noticed it helps me digest my meals better and not feel bloated at all. Today is a Saturday, and on Saturdays I usually work a double, 
So before I leave my home, I make sure to pack the meals. Barring dinner, I am packing everything with me that I am going to be having for the rest of the day. So I start off my day at around I do intermittent fasting. So the first meal comes in around 2:30 p.m. where I'll be having this smoothie. The macros for this are listed below, and the, I've made a full detailed recipe of this in a previous video. So you can go ahead and check that out. Along with the smoothie, I'll also be having my vitamins, my multivitamin, and my fish oil. So this is the meal which I continue to have throughout the entire duration of my cut. And on the days when I need to tone down my carbs, I'll have the exact same recipe, but have it in a oats bowl format where I make it the same in a microwave, reducing the quantity of oats and toning down the one banana that I'm consuming with this. So that saves me around 20-25 grams of carbs right there. So after I'm done with my smoothie, I do my workouts, which keeps me full for a good amount of time. So post workout, I'll be having it's already weighed out here 150 grams of rice and around 100 grams of shrimp. So shrimp is my choice of protein post my workouts, and this is how it's been since the time I cut down to single digit body fat because I saw that shrimp sits in my stomach really well and doesn't give me any kind of bloating whatsoever. So 150 grams of rice and shrimp. I don't really have vegetables on the side because I make sure the way the shrimp is cooked, it is cooked with ghee, with tomatoes and with onions. So I am getting in my micronutrients from this meal over there as well. 150 grams of rice, around 120 grams of shrimp, cooked in a simple Indian curry. I don't believe in, even when I am dieting down to single digit body fat, I don't believe that you have to eat boiled food without salt without any spices. Spices have so many benefits and you can see the western world drawing influence from the same from our Indian culture. Ghee is a big trend now in the states. So is our haldi that we put in our food every single day. They have turmeric supplements and everything. But we in our Indian cooking may have such prevalent use of spices which have multiple benefits for multiple organs. So I don't see a point in cutting it all out and just sticking to boiled bland food without salt. After my post-workout meal around 5.30 p.m., I start training my clients and after that I want something which is quick and easy to grab on the go. So along, so around 9, 9.30 p.m., I'll have two whole eggs and a scoop of whey protein. So not only does this provide me ample amount of proteins and fats which sustains my energy and helps me meet my daily protein requirements, but also makes it very convenient, a quick to-go kind of meal which I can get wrapped up within a minute. Let's get back to the gym. sessions it's around 2 30 right now I'll be, and I'll be breaking my fast with the morning smoothie so as discussed earlier when I'm not consuming as high amount of carbs as I'm doing right now I'll switch out the smoothie for a oats recipe where I'll reduce the quantity of oats and reduce the quantity of the banana that I'm consuming so that will save me around 20 25 grams of carbs right there so once you know your macronutrients well it's very easy to structure your meals and around the set macronutrients and it makes calorie deficit the process the whole process of calorie deficit rather so much easier to follow There's a light and I can see for my intermittent fasting i follow a roughly 15 hour eating window i'll have my first meal around 2 30 and then after going back home from work i'll try to finish off my last meal by around 11 o'clock at night so most finishing off my sessions in the morning and having my morning smoothie. I'll rest for about half an hour and then I'll start training. So for today I have chest and back. So I'll be supersetting most movements, protagonist and antagonist muscle groups. So sit back and enjoy the montage. Give yourself no time Got too many bills 
I just got done with my strength training as I emphasized prior on LISS cardio. It's one of my favorite tools to use when I'm cutting and post-workout oftentimes I engage in 300-400 calorie sessions which aids me the best of results. So when I, the last time I dieted down to single digit body fat, you can see the picture over here. It was pretty lean. So this was my 2019 prep diaries. Just look at the amount of calories I do cardio. Like oftentimes 500 calorie sessions daily. Like everything is accounted for every single day. You just see. On multiple occasions, one would be post workout and then would be a second session at night as well. Like this would help me create a bigger deficit. So more than the meals and tracking your calories and having the proper macronutrient balance, it just brings down and boils down again to maintaining a calorie deficit as simple as that so i'm going to do about 200 to 250 calories right now here today and enjoy the time lapse and i'll catch you when i freshen up and catch you for my post workout meal having the same meal for about five years now but post workout just the thought of this is so enticing it just dil ko sukoon aa jata hai so i'll just again list down the macros of this meal over here as discussed earlier so this has my 150 grams of rice 120 grams of shrimp and this will give me like the appropriate fuel needed post workout for my recovery it has your good carbohydrates it has your proteins it has the proper micronutrients needed so even when I'm dieting down, this meal always stays constant. And if I am very low on carbs, if I'm having a low carb day as well, I make sure that this meal stays constant because this suits well with me. So try to find meals that suit well with you and try to take out the guessing game for your body because your body likes th when things are done in a constant manner. Don't keep your body guessing with new meals every single day. Even if it's boring, try to stick to the same consistent meals and your body will thank you for it. So right now I'm done with this, done with the workout. I'm going to enjoy my post-workout meal right now. Change, freshen up and then get ready to train my evening clients.
it's around 9:30 p.m. right now, and I've just got a quick break in between training. So I'll just have my little snack, the two whole eggs, and my whey protein shake. I'll be done with training. I'll finish off at the gym around 10 o'clock. I'll head back home by 10:30 and have my last meal. So before then, this is the perfect meal in between. A quick, convenient helps fill me my protein requirements and quick and on the go. So I just got home from work. It's around 11 o'clock right now, and I'm going to be showing you my final meal for the day. So my final meal has 200 grams of rice, any vegetables that's cooked on that day, a big bowl of dal, some eggs over here, and 200 grams of chicken right there. The macros for the meal are going to be listed right here. So that was a full day of my eating and what I ate to lose the most amount of weight and get from fat to fit. You again don't need to be having boiled food the whole entire time, as long as you are familiar with your macros and you can fit in with your macros and you slowly tone it down with time. With the concept that I explained earlier, you can gauge a track of your diet, enjoy your overall weight loss process, and see efficient results. by following home cooked meals and not having to eat strict bodybuilding foods and hope you enjoy your journey hope this video helped you get a better insight as to what how to frame your diet and how eating certain kinds of meals will be beneficial towards your muscle building and fat loss goals so if you found this video helpful do leave a like share and comment down below and i'll hopefully be seeing you in the next one stay tuned and until next time signing out